Hey everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We are at the SAP for Utilities event in Huntington Beach. With me I have... Chris Chen. Chris, you're with? San Diego Gas and Electric. Excellent. And what do you do for San Diego Gas and Electric? I'm their manager of intellectual capital. So I look for innovative ideas and solutions that we've developed that can be commercialized and benefit utilities around the world. Excellent. So have you any interesting uh, intellectual items that you've come across that you can talk about? Uh, we've come up with a number of things some related to electric vehicles. We've uh, done some stuff, one thing called Smart Transformer, which is a way to um, allow distributed load, load management at the street transformer level. Um, working with a company on some micro clearing uh, transactions for smart grid data. You know, with the explosion of smart grid data, we could be settling, you know, billions of transactions every month versus a million now. So uh, we're working with a company to develop solutions to that. Interesting. And I haven't come across many utility companies before who have an intellectual property arm. Is, is this unusual? Uh, relatively new. I think one of the things that's driving us, you know, we've been, we were the smartest utility for three years in a row, and we began to realize that a lot of the problems we were running into because we were an early adopter of smart grid and a lot of the solutions we were coming up with um, could benefit a lot more people than just, uh, just our utilities. We wanted to help, uh, help with that. Okay. And you gave a, a talk this morning on smart grid metrics. What was that about? The California Public Utilities Commission came up with a list of 19 metrics to help SDG&E and the other utilities in California measure their success of the smart grid rollouts. You know, we're putting a lot of money into smart grid. We want to, they want to make sure that, that our uh, customers and ratepayers are getting a value for the money we're putting into smart grid. So there are a set of metrics they've developed to help us look at and make sure that we are, in fact, delivering um, an effective smart grid. Okay, and what kind of metrics are they? Uh, they revolved around things like you know outages, things like that. Some of the standard utility definitions of how long outages, how many outages you have. That's related to things like the uh, advanced metering infrastructure we've rolled out. You know, did that meeting for infrastructure go well? Did customers like it? Um, were there hardware issues or network issues with it? Um, also looked at more advanced things though, like customer engagement. You know, part of the smart grid is meant to engage customers in managing the grid, mm -hmm. and so they had some metrics around that. They had metrics around electric vehicles. Um, and the number of electric vehicles being put into our system, also metrics around distributed generation, another critical issue of smart grid. Um, and the smart grid will help us integrate renewables and be good for our customers, good for the environment, and all the benefits of, of that. Okay, and you, you mentioned as well that there's kind of a tendency now um, to move from you know the, the idea of asking the question, what happened, to what's happening. Yeah, so we call that predictive analytics. Uh, it used to be what happened. Now uh, we need, because we have so much more real-time data available, um, now our internal uh, operations are asking what's happening now. Um, and I think the next stage is going to be so, and what's going to happen. So that data that's coming from all the smart grid sensors and systems that we have out there um, is going to help us look at things like renewable generation. You know, renewable generation is very intermittent. Cloud cover comes over, your, all your solar goes away for a little while. Uh, we'd love to be able to predict that so we can manage our system more effectively. Customer loads, we'd like to be able to predict what customer loads will be so we can combine that with things like um, understanding solar generation and really manage our system most efficiently. Fantastic. And you're talking later on this afternoon about the Utilities of Tomorrow contest. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so SAP, in conjunction with several utilities and universities, is sponsoring Utilities of Tomorrow contest where we're going to invite students, teams of students, um, from universities all over the world, actually any student can submit a proposal, uh, to, to come up with innovative ideas related to the energy industry. Um, and not just energy, actually it's any utility, so it could be water or waste management also. And then we're going to have uh, a group of experts assess those ideas, pick the best ones, and then bring the team of students out to work with experts in Silicon Valley on an expense paid trip uh, to help develop their idea. And is it, is it a global competition? Yes, it is. Excellent. Fantastic. Chris, that's been great. Thanks for talking to us. My pleasure, Tom.